Welcome back everyone, I'm Genevieve Moongarden and I wanted to show off some of these amazing Friendship Festival items that they came out with this year. Number one, they're not very expensive, yay! So, this one right here is the Friendship Teeter Totter. This one is only 1,000 crowns, which is pretty good compared to a lot of the seasonal event items that they come out with. And next up is the Rose Bouquet. This is not a housing item, this is a wand. I haven't got mine yet, so let's get it. You know what? I think I'm going to buy one for my other wizard as well. They do have some mount and friends bundle, but as you can clearly see back here, I've already got the pets dropped from various dungeons in here, especially like Mirror Lake. That's where I got both of those pigs from. Free ways to get free holiday pets. Oh yeah, and the ladybug too, I'm pretty sure. I got all of these dropped from that same dungeon. <laughs> and next is the beautiful care hair. This isn't brand new. This one came out in 2018, but just the fact that it's always available at the Friendship Festival. Yes, there's a ghost back there. That makes them even more special, plus they're super cute. So the bundles for those mounts are 8,600, 10,000, or 10,000. But if you go over here to the permanent mounts, the care hair is only 3750, which is pretty nice. Soaring heart wings is 4,500. The sweetheart, which is the one that you ride on top of, is also only 4,500. So personally, I would just, if you really have to have the mount, like I did, I would just purchase them separately in the crown shop and then uh, go farm some dungeons for those pets if you really wanted them. Alrighty, let's equip this rose bouquet. Ooh, looks pretty good. It would be awesome -er if they came in different colors, but so far it's pretty awesome. And of course it's just cosmetic. It doesn't give you any stats or anything. I'm pretty sure you can't hold on to these while riding on the uh, teeter-totter. So let's check out the teeter-totter. Now, I do know that this can be ridden solo, uh, yeah, because I was checking out someone's stream after mine and they had purchased one and I just casually asked, I wonder uh, what would happen if somebody jumped off? Because if you grew up with Teeter Totters, you know exactly what happens when somebody jumps off. Yeah, the one that's still there is in big trouble. Oh, by the way, I just noticed our pets are just standing right outside it. That's so cute. That is so neat. They're just they're just hanging out waiting for us. I'm like, wait a second. Genevieve doesn't have the sheep. Yes, that's because Alicia does. So you got a couple different views, which is this one. Nope, you can't move it. And this one is, I guess, just looking at yourself. Yeah, if you have like a big roby outfit on, this one's kind of weird. Like her. <laughs> It's just, yeah. I guess this one's like kind of above you or whatever. And as usual, the fourth one is just one you can move around with the mouse like this. I really like that jewel on the side of it though. That's really cool. Although it would be fun if somebody had a bunch of these in their house and then they just had a party where a whole bunch of people were riding them together. That would be fun, right? And this is what happens if somebody jumps off. <laughs> the other person is well they just stay on there so I find that pretty funny now let's go over to the PvP area and check out these wands and they don't even give you a wand hit so that's definitely interesting so you'd have to stitch them to something that had a wand hit to see what the wand hit for these would be now they keep showing in the pictures that when you have this thing you're kind of looking like you're proposing to people. So I'm not sure if that's like what you do in an idol. So I guess let's just wait. Well, that's kind of the idol right there. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly how you get to that, you know, down on one knee and lifting up the rose bouquet thing. So yeah, let's just, let's just fight my friend. Haha, <laughs> that would be a, a pet thing. Oops. Okay, so that's how you cast with it. I gotcha. I'm gonna send my other wizard back over to the commons and stitch that wand on something that has actual wand hits. Alrighty, let's see now if there's any difference in it. And I want her to hit me. Hit me, let's see it. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if that is the attack of the one that I stitched it with just now, which was the, uh, the, like the ranger's compass thing. 
I mean, it's still kind of cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Thanks so much, everyone, for checking out my look at these newer items for 2022 Friendship Festival, and we'll see you in the next one.